Good afternoon and welcome to the Dallas Zoo's uh, Herpetarium. My name is Shanna and I'm one of the senior zoologists here at the Dallas Zoo. Today we're going to talk a little bit about turtles and tortoises. This is one of our brown mountain tortoises and these are one of the largest species found in Southeast Asia. They can reach over 50 pounds in the wild and even more in human care. Uh, this guy is a little bit over two years old. He was hatched here at the zoo. His parents live on zoo grounds and there are actually four of them together. We have two boys and two girls that live together. These guys are really cool because as they grow, their shell actually turns darker. They have this really cool little pattern now, but as he gets bigger, his shell will actually start to go black. They are one of the most primitive tortoises in the world, which makes them a really cool species because they're kind of like a living fossil. They are also a tortoise, so if you look at their feet, especially their back feet, they kind of look stumpy like an elephant's foot, where most turtles, especially sea turtles, have flippers and aquatic turtles have webbed feet. These guys do not. It doesn't mean they can't swim, they're just not as good and they don't need to be in water to live and survive. These guys are also really cool because as far as tortoises go, they actually build a nest above ground. They don't dig a hole and lay their eggs in the ground. They actually build a nest by bringing leaves and sticks together and burying their eggs in a pile of a nest, similar to alligators and crocodiles. Um, the female also guards her nest, so that's actually pretty cool as far as turtles and tortoises, because most of them do not do this. This species is critically endangered in Asia because it was found not only for the pet trade, but a lot of their living space has been um, logged and they have a very small range now where they're, they're found in the wild. Come back and visit us again soon. We'll be adding more of these videos in our near future.